second one. We can go to Malachi. Listen, plenty of prayers that we can bring out. Right? Let us read it. It says, Fill their faces with shame, that they may seek thy name, O Lord. Let them be confounded and trouble forever. You see, they'll be trouble forever. He didn't even say maybe for one day, John 3, 16, God so loved the world. No. He said there'll be trouble forever. Why? Because the Messiah is going to cut them off eventually, forever. Thousand years of slavery for East or Edom. Then the Messiah cut them off. It's plain and simple. It's not complicated. It's plain and simple. All right? Let us read it. He said, let them be put to shame and perish. There we go, man. So eventually, Esau, Edom will be put to shame and they'll perish. It's plain and simple. Didn't over 100 million native Indians perish in the end? You got over 80 million of the so called blacks, African American, perish in the end? It's plain and simple, man. With the most side, is what we call judgment. Judgment and payback, right? So Esau paycheck is on the way. Esau paycheck is on the way, man. The Mosai got a big ass, big ass paycheck for Esau either. Big ass paycheck is coming for Esau. Let us read it. He said, That man may know that thou, whose name and Lord is Yahweh, are the Mosai over all the earth. You see that? The Mosai is the only God, the only power over the whole earth, man. All right? Understand that. So you're supposed to be scared of the Mosai. When you see somebody reading the Bible, you're supposed to be scared. You're like, okay, bro, what are you teaching? No, these people, they're just walking by to and fro, buying food, sending money. They don't care. They do not care about the Mosai. They don't know the Mosai yet. They have not seen what the Mosai can do. They don't know what the Mosa is able to. These people, they don't know yet. When the Mosa over flip your car and your head get cut off, your leg is on the north, right? Your ass is on the, is on, is on the south, then you will understand. Then you will see the power of the Mosa. When the Mosa chop your head up, when you get shot in the chest, you bleed him, they rush you to the emergency room, then you will know the Mosa, man. Then you will know the Mosa. Right now, you will not know the most side because you're making the money. You got a good job. You're living good. You got everything, right? Right now, you're good. Guess what? When the most side snatch you, smite you, plagues you, the earthquake comes and devastate your whole city. The tsunami comes and take the whole building, kill baby, adult, grown up, elder, and then you know the most side. Now, you will not know the most side. And that's what needs to happen to a lot of our people. A lot of our people, so-called blacks, Latino and Native, and a lot of you out there, you proud, you hate the most side, you hate your own brother, you hate your own people, hey, those things are going to come up on you, buddy. The most side said unto the wicked, there should not be no peace. No peace unto the wicked. No peace. There will not be no peace unto the wicked. That's the most side, that's the most side. No peace. Don't get it twisted. The peace call is for movie. Understand that. The peace God was created to put you to sleep. There is no peace. You don't keep the commandments. So why are you waiting for the peace of the Mosa? It's going right here. So yeah, how I look. Let's go to Psalm 92 and verses 8. Psalm 92 and verses 8. This is the book of Psalms. This is the book of Psalm, chapter 92, and verses 8. But thou, Lord, art most high forevermore. Amen, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah. So you got to understand that the Most High, he ain't playing no game, man. The Most High, Yahweh, he's not about your game. The game you play, you don't know the Most High yet. So go back to this book. I'm going to read it. I'm going to go back to this book. It's called the, world, the American Holocaust. The conquest of the new world. All right? So they did not discover. They conquered. I understand that. It's just basic English. All right? They did not discover. All right? They conquered. They conquered the native Indian. 
and stored the land. Understand that. They stored the land. Let us read it. So I am on the last paragraph of the page 245. All right? Let's read it. It says, the better class of white American. Can you believe that? They said the better class of white American. You see? That's how they play with your mind. The most I call them what? The border of weakness. The border of weakness. But when they speak, what do they say? The better class. The better class. Imagine that. Of white Americans were being overwhelmed. He feared by the unrestricted breeding. You see? Right? They were concerned now. Okay, listen. If we don't restrict these so-called native Indian and blacks, listen, they're going to repopulate the, the land again. We don't want that. They don't want that to happen. They don't want that. They don't want you to multiply. That's why they're telling you, cut your trump. When you got one baby, two baby, they tell you, cut your trump. Go see your gynecologist or whatever you name it. Yeah, cut your trump. Do all this, all type of filthiness. You see? Because the most I say, well, be fruitful and multiply. The most I bless us. The most I say, be fruitful and multiply. That's what the scripture say. And Esau got a problem with it. Esau said, no. I don't want you so-called blacks. You so-called African-American, he said, you feeble-minded. He said, you the weak. We don't want you to multiply. We only want the upper class. We only want the so-called white people to multiply. We don't want the so-called blacks, Latino and Native to multiply. We don't want that. Because we concerned, we scared that if you start multiplying, maybe you're going to take your land back. Yes or no? So why are you celebrating Halloween? Why are you bringing demons over to your house? Why are you inviting, you sending an invitation to evil spirit over your sons and your daughter? Do not curve that pumpkin. Return that pumpkin wheresoever you bought it from. That pumpkin is garbage. Return it wheresoever you bought it from and take your money. Save up your money. Don't buy no Christmas tree. Don't buy no Christmas gift for anybody. Don't do it. Save your money for the worst time is about to come. You don't know what is going to happen tomorrow. What if you lose your job? What if you lose your job, you ain't got no job? Why you always want to live a beggar life? Right? You always want to live a beggar life. Right? So you got to keep in mind, man. The more side. He's warning you, that pumpkin, don't bring it to the house. If you already brought it to the house, return it and take your money. Return it and take your money. Don't celebrate. It's a pagan day. Right? It's a unrestricted breeding of inferior racial stocks. The utterly shiftless and the worthless. You see that? So they say, well, the, the native Indian, right? Latino and Hispanic. He said they were inferior races. Inferior racial stocks. And there we go. And today, you are assimilating yourself with them. You think you're equal, right? Okay. Let's go right here. I want to grab another book. Bear with me. I want to go to this book, right? I want to go to this book, right? As I read a part, some part of it yesterday, okay? It's called The Pagan Book of Days, okay? The Pagan Book of Days by Nigel Panic, okay? So keep in mind, let's go right here. We are in the month of October. October, there's so many idol gods, so many idols that they worship in this month. A lot of witchcraft will be going on right now. A lot of child sacrifice, okay? A lot of children will be given evil spirit. A lot of children. After this pagan Halloween, 
on the Day of the Dead in Mexico, part of West Africa, in Louisiana, all these places that you're doing weakness. Guess what? Some of your son and your daughter, you're going to lose them. Some of them, they'll die on that night. Some of them, the most will smite them with some plagues, with some disease. Some of them, they'll be touched. Some of your son and daughter, they'll be raped. The most ain't playing no game. That's why you keep your son and your daughter in the spirit of the most high. Raise them according to the law, the commandment of the most high. That's what the most high told our forefather. Our forefather, they fell. They fall. Now that the most high show us mercy with his grace that gave us understanding. What are we supposed to do? We got to make sure we're teaching our brother, our sister, our mother, our father, our uncle, our auntie. We got to teach it to our people, the 12 of Israel. So in this time, right, from the month of October all the way down to what? Earlier March, right, before, like, until the end of the biblical year, guess what? There is a lot of sacrifice that will be going on. There is a lot of ritual that will be going on. A lot of chaos on earth. Because at that time, it's cold. So most people want to be indoors. So that allow Satan and the enemy to do a lot of work. Because no one wants to be outside. It's cold outside. Everybody wants to be in the house, kind of warm, thing like that. During that time, guess what? Satan, he's operating. He's to and fro. He's busy going to and fro. All right? So let's read this. We're going to go right here. All right? I already read some of, some of this information. Let's read it. We're going to go right here. Right? So I am on the page. Page, uh, let me see. Page 121, right? You see that? Page 121. Page 121, okay? Okay, you see? Page 121. Keep in mind, all right? Page 121. So I'm going read it, all right? Page 121. And I'm going read October 30th, October 30th, it said Goddess month of Hetor Inch. So they're telling you that October is the month of a goddess known as what? Hetor, right? H A T H O R. That's how you spell it. Hetor, Hetor, right? Then it said October 31st, Samhain Eve. Right, Samhain Eve, Halloween. Yo, bro. Yo, bro, I'm talking to you and you're walking past me? Really? Hey, bro, remember, pray go before destruction. Keep in mind, man. Pray go before destruction. Remember today, man. Remember this day. So later, don't say that you didn't know. When the Most High judging you, remember, it might be funny to you. Remember, it might be funny. But remember, the Most High who judge you. Keep in mind. All right? Keep in mind, the Most High sees it. Shalom King, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. It says, Samhain Eve, so October 31st, you see? October 31st, Samhain Eve, Halloween, Goddess month of Samhain commences. So you see, that's what we tell you, brother and sister. That's what we tell you. Do not bring no pumpkin to your house. Don't do it. Don't do it. Do not do it. Right? Exactly, exactly, right? I mean, don't bring no pumpkin, brother and sister. Ye so-called Latino, Hispanic, Native Indian, Seminole Indian, ye so-called African American, ye so-called blacks. Hey, please make sure you ain't celebrating Halloween. Make sure you ain't celebrating no Thanksgiving. No celebrating none of these pagan. Don't do it. Don't do it. We're just letting you know, all right? We're letting you know. Let's really say, the Feast of Samhain, right, marks the onset of a darker, imagine that, a darker. Why would you bring your children to such thing? Why you got to let your children, it's cold out there, 
You got to let your children go look for candy. Why can't a parent love the children during a time when it's cold? You're supposed to keep your son and your daughter in the house. You keep them warm. And you teach them the Bible. You teach them to love the Mosai to keep the commandment. Plain and simple. But what would you want to do? You want them to go hunt for what? They got to go hunt for what? Candy? And guess what? Then somebody kill them. Then somebody snatch them. Then they get lost. So many evil happen to them. Right? He said, marks the onset of a darker, more introspective time of the year. Imagine an introspective time of the year. When access to the other world, wow. Huh, I don't know about that, man. He said, when access to the other world, which world? Exactly, as in the day of Molech, Asher, that's right, King, that's right, King, that's right, King, exactly, right? He said, when access to the other world is easier than usual, whoo, that's scary. That's some witchcraft right there. So it's so literally telling you, you know what, during this time, we're able to communicate with Satan, because the Father is Satan. The Messiah is set them up. The Messiah is set Esau to be like that. It's just that people don't understand. The Messiah, he set up Esau, Edom, to be like that. Yeah? You see, Esau said, during this time, I have access to the other world. So he communicated with all whatever the Messiah allowed him to communicate with. The Messiah allowed Esau to communicate with some spirit, right? Because that's the job of Esau, right? It's easier than usual. The festival is also known as Halloween. Oh, there we go. When the witches write abroad. Hey, I didn't write this book. I did not. Am I the author of this book? I did not. I'm just happening. I just happened to be reading it. Right? You see, this is what Esau said. Esau said, the festival. Bro. So to you, so-called blacks, Latino and native in here. Hey, African-American. Remember. Remember that if you celebrating Halloween, you sending your son and daughter out there to go collect candy, you buying them these wicked, dirty, nasty costumes and whatever you do. Oh, listen, you doing it to Satan, buddy. That means the Most is not dealing with you, buddy, right? For his own destruction. That's right, King. That's right. For his own destruction. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You see. He said the festival is also known as Halloween. There we go. When witches ride abroad. Wow. Imagine, yeah, bro. I'm telling you, bro. This is this like man. This 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 two things. You see that? You see the image right there? You see that image? You see that? That's Esau, man. That's Esau sitting with the snake in his hand, man. That's Esau, the wicked. That's Esau. That's what we tell our people. Do not follow the way of the hidden. Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 10. Don't do it. Pumpkin. That's right, King. Right? And guess what? They literally show it because I got a video right here. Watch this. I got a video. Right? I got this video. I'm going to show it. Watch. He said, Hey, ho, for Halloween, when all the witches are to be seen. So you letting your daughter and your son. Go out doing that day, or you bring in pumpkin all this to your house. You bring a demon to your house, buddy. You bring a demon, an evil spirit over your own children. Exactly. Exactly, King. That's right, King. Exactly. You see, they literally tell you. But it's just because we don't read it. We don't know. You see what I'm saying? They say the best way to hide from Latino, blacks, is to put in a book. Because we don't read. Because we don't read. You see that? He said, he said, when all the witches are to be seen. So when you dress up your son and your daughter in that costume, guess what? You're training them to be a witch. You're training your son and your daughter to be a witch. Do not learn the way of Babylon. That's what the Mosai said. Come out of her, my people, so that thou art not partake of her sin. Don't do it. It's plain and simple. That's what the Mosai said. Let me bring it out. Let's go to Revelation quick. Before I continue, let's go to Revelation, right? Let's go in the book of Revelation quick. Let's go in the book of Revelation. I gotta bring it out. Let's go. The most I said, don't do it. Don't follow the way of Babylon. Come out of here, my people. 
Let's go. Revelation chapter 18. Right? That's right. That's right, King. 22, 18. That's right. I'm going to go to it too, King. I'm going to go to it. This is the book of Revelation. Right? Revelation chapter 18. Let's go to it. Right? This is what the most I say. This is the book of Revelation chapter 18 and verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven. This is from the Most High saying, Come out of here, my people. So, but first and foremost, we got to come off, out of Babylon in the spirit, spiritually. That's why the scriptures say, Well, they that worship the Most High, worship him more in truth and in spirit. Right? When you go in the book of John, chapter 4, that's why Yahweh Shammah said, He said, They that worship the Father, must worship him in truth and in the spirit. So we got to come out of America or the U.S., right? Spiritually. So you got to make sure that you ain't buying no pumpkin. If you are bought it, you can repent from it. Return it to the store and take your money. Don't buy no Christmas tree. Don't install no garment, all this. Don't do it. Do not do it. Don't do it. All right? Let's read it. He said, saying, come out of here, my people. That's what the most say. say. Come out of here, my people. Right? That ye be not partaker of her sins. And that's the point. Because I celebrating uh, like Halloween, Thanksgiving, Father Days, Mother Days. Guess what? We are partaker of the sins of who? Of Babylon. Esau, Edom. No, we don't want to be partaker. When we used to be child, we were partaker. Now that the Mosai, he show us mercy and favor that we wake up. We don't want to deal with that. We do not want to deal with that. We became a new person, newborn. All right? He said, Well, and that ye receive not of her plagues. Because if you're celebrating Thanksgiving, you're celebrating all this. Exactly. The Mosai eventually is going to plague you. That's what the scripture is saying, plain and simple. The Mosai said, You bring a pumpkin to your house, you bring in evil spirit, you will like initiating your son and your daughter to witches. And witchcraft, the most I said, Listen, I'm gonna plague you. So you gotta understand, man. The wages of sin is death, right? Well, let's go to Isaiah. So, Isaiah, he said, For actually, verse 5, he said, For her sin have reached unto heaven, and Yahweh had remembered her iniquity. Isaiah 52 and 11. Let's go to it. Actually, let me go right here. Let's go to the book of Exodus 22, as the brother posted on the common board. We appreciate that big time. Right, let's go to it. 22, and we're going to read verses 18. Let's go to it. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 22. Right? This is the book of Exodus, chapter 22, and verses 18. Thou shalt not suffer a wish to live. You see, it's plain and simple. And that's the, more, the main reason why the Mosa is going to cut them off. And if there be any of our people, a lot of our people in West Africa, Right, part of Mexico, part of Louisiana, you practicing witchcraft. You say you read the poems, you do all this, all this weakness. Hey, that's right, King. Hey, awesome, awesome. Sit down, silent. That's right, right. So the most I say, no, man, don't be partake of that. Let's go to Leviticus 20 and 27. Leviticus 20 and 27. Let's bring it out quick. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 20. Actually, I'm going to read verse 6 first. Let's read it. It says, And the soul that turned after such as her familiar spirit, and after wizard, so witches, right, to go and hurry after them. So you go and hurry after what? Halloween and all this weakness and nonsense of Babylon the Great. You don't want to come out of hell spiritually. The Moses said, I will even set my face against that soul. And will cut him off from among his people. You see, it's plain and simple. It's plain and simple, man. Eh? It's plain and simple. Let's go right here. Let's go in the book of Isaiah 52 and verses 11. Isaiah 52 and 11. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 52, and I'm going to read Isaiah 47 as well. Let's go to 52 and 11. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 52, 
and verses 11. Isaiah 52 and 11. Depart ye, depart ye. Go ye out from this. That's what the Mosai said, man. We got to come out spiritually out of Babylon the Great. We got to come out. Right? Exactly, right? We got to come out. We got to come out. We got to come out first and foremost in the spirit. Not just we, we talking. No, we got to stop those pagan things we used to follow. Right? He said, depart ye, depart ye. Go ye out from this. Touch no, touch no unclean thing. Go ye out of the midst of her. Be ye clean, that bear the vessel of the Lord. You say, we got to be clean. That's what the Most High said. Let's go to Isaiah. Let's go to 47 and 5. This is the book of Isaiah. 47 and verse 5. It says, sit thou silent and get thee into darkness. Who? Babylon the Great. Babylon the Great. It says, sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldean. For thou shalt no more be called the ladies, the lady of kingdom. And that's America, man. For sure, this is America. How do we know? What do they say? This is the hammer of the world, right? America, the United Snake of America is the hammer of the world. They're the police of the world. They dictate to every country, everybody, what they need to do, what they can do, and what they cannot do, right? Shalom, King. Right? The only country that do certain, that got power to do certain, guess what? Is Babylon the Great, man. Is Babylon the Great. What is the name the most I call? Let's read it again. Say what? The Lady of Kingdom. I was wrought with my people. I've polluted my inheritance and given them into thy hand. That's why he came over here and murdered. He murdered our forefather. He murdered. The so-called native Indian, the so-called Latino Hispanic. And until this very last day, they're still doing the same thing. Nothing new under the sun. Because Pharaoh Joe Laden, right? Pharaoh Joe Laden, he just slaps again two days ago the so-called blacks, Latino and native on the face. What did he say? He said, listen, man, I'm going to uplift. I'm going to lift all the abortion Found the abortion bonds that uh, his uh, predecessor, the wicked donator, has done. He said, I'm gonna lift it up. So, your so called black woman, so called Latino woman, or Latina woman, so called Latino, you can go and kill your baby. You can go and kill your baby. You can go and kill your baby. Shalom, 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 sis. He said, You can go and kill your baby. You see, but people don't see like that. They say, It's my body. I can do what I want. No, it's not your body. Okay, your body is the temple of the Most High. And the spirit of the Most High dwell in you. Is not your body. And we were bought at war a very, very precious price. The blood of Yahweh Shia me. he never sinned against the Most High. Right? So let's go back to here. Isaiah 47 and verses 6. He said, I was robbed with my people. I've polluted my inheritance and given them into thy hand. So we were given. Into the head of Esau Edom. That's why Esau, he deal with us the way he dealt with us. We were given to his hand. Why? Because we broke the law, the commandment of the Most High. We were given into the hand of the wicked. Esau Edom. Let us continue. He said, Thou did shoot them no mercy. And that's Esau, man. There's no mercy from Esau. No mercy, man. He said, Upon the ancient house thou very heavily laid thy yoke, and thou say, I shall be a lady forever, because America, they think they're going to rule forever. Actually, you know what? In physics, if you ever taken physics class, we say usually, when you throw an object, right, into the air, right, guess what? Once the object, regardless, reach the highest altitude, guess what? Is going to come down, man. So understand, the Egyptians that used to be mighty, the most overthrew them. Right? The Canaanite, the Assyrian, the Babylonian, the Mid Persian, the Greeks, and the Roman today. So, Esau cannot 
continue forever. No. The Mosai set up a time for Esau. And right now, Esau is running out of time. They do know that they're running out of time. Esau know he's running out of time. Right? Let us read it. He said, Thou and thou says, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou did not lay this thing to thy heart. Neither didst remember the latter end of it. Right? Therefore, hear now this. Thou art given to pleasure. Babylon is given to pleasure, man. They're given to so much pleasure. Babylon the great. So much pleasure. So much delicacies, man. They're given to the lust. Right? Let's read it. Say, Therefore hear now, thou that art given to pleasure, that dwellest carelessly. That's how they live, man. Carelessly. They don't care. They can drop bombs on you. They can bomb your whole house. They can do anything they want to do. They don't care, man. Exactly, King, right? They don't care. Right? He said, That say in thy heart, I am a non S beside me. Because America, right? And most Americans, that's how they feel. They say, This is the most mighty country. This is the most richest. This is the richest country on earth. This is the only best place on earth. Is that I was speaking with what? Somebody went over there, hey, you know what? Nah, this is the best place, man. This is the best place, you see? Because that's the spirit of Babylon, man. Right? Let's really say, huh. he said, I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. But these two things, this is Isaiah 47 and 9, but these two things shall come to thee in a moment in one day, the loss of children and widowhood, they shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorcery and for the great abundance of thine enchantment. So keep in mind, man, the most I am playing no, no game. For thou hast trust in thy weakness. And that's what Esau does, man. Weakness. They trust in weakness. Thou hast said, now see me, thy wisdom and thy knowledge, he hath perverted thee. And thou hast said in thy heart, I am a non as beside me. You see? That's how America feel, right? Let's go to Revelation 18. As the brother posted on the comment board, let's go right there. I'm sitting there. Let's bring it up. This is the book of Revelation. Right? Chapter 18. And I'm going to read verse 6. Reward her even as he reward you. And double unto her, double according to her works. So Babylon took the northern kingdom and southern kingdom into captivity for four, I mean, for 400 over years, closer to 500 years, hey, the most I said double. So they're going to get 1,000 years. That's what we call paycheck. Payback from the most I. This is what we call judgment. Okay, this is what we call real judgment. Justice. There's no justice in your Supreme Court. No, man. In your upper sea court or whatever you name it. Listen, there's no justice. The justice of Babylon the Great today is business. It's all about business. You get pulled over, guess what? You get 